Well, I took this guy to work, um, and I figured it out. I'm going to be using two and a half inch pipe. Um, what was it? I think it's 0203 wall, so, and I need 54 inches of it. So that'll work good. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about or whatever, um, show you what I'm planning on doing. Basically, I'm making, I'm cutting out these adapter plates. I only need two. Um, the first one will be this size. The, the next one that I weld to this one will have a two, and what was it? Two and, it's, it'll fit a two inch pipe, or two and a half inch pipe will fit inside of it. So, um, anyways, uh, I'm going to drill all these holes out, tap them when I weld the two together, and that'll bolt onto this. And then the two inch pipe, two and a half inch, I'm sorry freaking got two inch stuck in my head um, the two and a half inch pipe will come off of here all the way to the other side where it will meet up with another one of these adapters to bolt to that one and that will be my new trailer axle so that is what the plan is this is the one that had all that freaking rust and stuff on the bottom of her but uh, she took her over to blah, 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 took her over to yonder uh, bench grinder and freaking took the wire wheel to her and got her all cleaned up so that's what that plan is I'll be bolting these onto the end of it so that uh, well they're not IFS hubs they're the solid axle hubs uh, that's all I've got left but uh, it'll work um, I'm really bad at remembering names but uh, one of you suggested using the same parts as I got on my solid front axle that way if I break something on my truck I can take it off the trailer, but uh, then I wouldn't be able to pull my trailer. So I'm thinking about maybe building a small box or something to keep a few uh, a few parts in, like burr fields and axles and stuff. But uh, this is going to be a sweet trailer. Yeah, I just need to get some freaking uh, studs for this one. I got actually I could probably I've got like four over there, four other ones. I don't know why I have five, that's such an odd number, but uh, yeah, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm going to have to get some like IFS studs because the solid axle ones, they also go through the, um, the disc brake that bolts to the back of it and that adds another friggin quarter inch, so they got a pretty big shoulder that comes through there if you remove the disc brake, and I'm not putting disc brakes on this because What's the point? Very highly doubt I'll break anything like that on the trail, but calipers maybe, but then I'd have to make a caliper mounting system and stuff. It'd just be easier to just throw them in a box. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm planning on for my new trailer axle. It's going to be awesome. And friggin' right, I found my key for the steering column. This is definitely the one out of Beastie. So that's awesome. The key works and everything. She's a little bit, uh, a little bit sticky from all the frickin' rust and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I might put this in the, in the frickin' Cummins truck, cause I'm pretty sure the steering column in that truck is no good, being in the fire and all. So friggin' rights. Well, we gotta go. It's, uh, grocery night, so we gotta go. Um, if there's anything to record, I'll record it. But uh, we gotta go. You hey guys see that camper up there? See how it's missing the front of it? They've got halogen lights as their headlights. That is ridiculous. How illegal is that? You can't do that. Yeah, it's like the front end collision or something crazy. Well, I am having a hell of a time trying to find one of these lights. It's uh, an LED trailer light. Um, Maybe you guys know where I can get some, or maybe you guys have got one. But, um, my other one over here is smashed, and it doesn't work. Um, I'd really like to get these, like this particular one, because it matches the red ones on the trailer. But, um, yeah, I went to two parts stores and can't find it.
There's one that's kind of similar, but it's uh, a regular bulb, not LED. And well, I just I want LEDs because they last forever unless you smash them open like this. But uh, yeah, if you guys know where to get one of these exact ones, I don't know if there's a freaking part number or nothing on it. I guess that kind of might be the part number. But, uh, or even if you guys have got one, yeah, that might be the part number. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm tired of this frig, just got back from groceries. <laughs> what do you guys think of that friggin' RV? That's something else. I'd see, I see some weird stuff, but that's gotta, that takes the cake. Like, halogen work lamps for headlights. Yeah, that guy's got way more redneck points than me. But anyways, um... I guess that's it. So until tomorrow, take care guys. Thanks for watching.